the G3. It does have full HD uh, resolution. It's a nice bright and reasonably colourful screen as well. Seems to be dealing with the glare from the demo room pretty well. Um, flip the, uh, the Zenfone 2 over and you'll see another thing in common with the G3 and that's the volume rocker. Uh, so it doesn't have a full power button and everything on the, on the, uh, the back like the LG G3. The power button's actually found here on top. But the volume rocker does sit naturally under your finger. So if you turn the phone on, like that, you'll see you can quite easily change the volume just for the tap. And since it's a 5.5 inch phone, that's quite good. It means you're not reaching about on the edges of the device. Although the power button on top is a little awkward to get to when you're playing with just one hand. You definitely need two hands to get the most out of this phone. In terms of the interface itself, it's uh, Android Lollipop 5.0, but it's also, as you can probably see, uh, running the Zen UI interface, which is Asus's personal interface. So for instance, flip this down and you'll see we've got a load more personalization options compared to the normal Android ones. Uh, so, yeah, for instance, you've got full-on glove mode, all kinds of power saving modes, balance, this is, oh, it's a reading mode, there you go, okay, so that just affects the screen, turn that off, oh, vivid mode, very nice, so that's, uh, I'm guessing if you're watching movies or something like that and you want the colours to sort of pop a lot more, um, so yeah, so you've got all kinds of different modes that you can fiddle around with, the usual brightness effects and everything as well. Go into the settings and you'll find tons more options in here as well. Uh, for instance, there's a kids mode which you can use uh, if you're a parent, you basically don't want your child to be on the phone non-stop. Then you can also uh, customise exactly what apps they have access to, which is always handy. Don't want little Jimmy going on and uh, seeing any adult websites that he shouldn't be looking at. In terms of the actual performance, there's a 64-bit Intel Atom quad-core processor packed away inside there. And certainly just from having a quick play with it, it certainly seems incredibly nippy. Uh, apps load up almost instantly and so far we haven't seen any kind of irritating stutters or anything like that so fingers crossed with uh, some prolonged usage you'll find that the performance is really really good on it. Uh, there's a 3000 milliamp battery which Asus reckons can charge to 60% in I think it was about 38 minutes which is, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um, see if it can actually hold a full day of charge of course so again that's something we'll be testing in the full review. Uh, but also Asus is really concentrating on the cameras on this phone. So you've got a 5 megapixel up front and a 13 megapixel on the back here. And if we go into the camera app, so far we've had a bit of a play and we are very impressed with the results. Um, so for instance, we've got a nice ball of fruit here, conveniently placed. So let's just go there. So let's see if we can get this. We can take a snap. So this is on full on auto mode at the moment. And if we go into the gallery, you see there's a, quite a good amount of detail packed in there. Certainly using all those megapixels for ma maximum benefit. But if you get back out of the gallery, let's go into here. Uh, there is the usual sort of range of modes, but Isus also reckons this has got the best possible HDR mode in it. So let's do a quick demo with that. You can see the uh, foreground is very dark and after capture and uh, we do some post processing right and uh, you can see the, the dark area brighter it's just auto mode we also can show you the uh, HDR mode we can uh, provide okay we, we, we can uh, compare with the uh, Samsung Note 4 uh, auto mode okay yeah. Auto mode, also the auto mode. Okay. So for the uh, uh, HDR mode, we provide a much brighter backlight. Right? Much brighter. So right now we can turn on the uh, HDR mode. You can see more uh, foreground. Can I take pictures? Yeah. Uh, Samsung claim that their HDR is worldwide best one. Okay? So this HDR mode is exactly very good. Okay? So we can show you the HDR mode. And we also change to HDR mode. Okay? HDR mode. And in the future,